Battle of the Powder Blushes. I'm Laura Ray. Today we're going to have some powder blushes, a couple of high ends, some drugstore that are going to go head to head. And I'm going to share with you which one I think is the best. Let's start with one of my all time favorite blushes. It is a pricey one. It's $40 and you get eight grams. It's Charlotte Tilbury's Cheek to Chic. This particular color, Ecstasy, is one I could just wear every day. It's a peachy pink. It adds a lot of luminosity to my skin without being too over the top. It is not glittery, which I love. I don't want glitter in my blush. So when you divide it out, you're paying $5 a gram. The packaging on this is about my favorite. I love this burgundy and gold that Charlotte uses for her products. So this is something beautiful to put in the purse or take out for travel. Now I'm going to put this blush against another favorite of mine, and this is the Huda Beauty. Now I wanted to try this because it was a unique shade. I don't see this berry, this very rich shade much, and I was not disappointed. This has less product in it. It has 4.5 grams, and Charlotte's had eight, so this is about half. But when you divide it out, you're paying a little less than Charlotte. You're paying $4.66 per gram for this blush. I really love this one so much because of the way it looks on my skin. It just sort of melts into the skin like you don't see it laying on top. So if we battle these out, the winner is Huda. I can't believe how much I love her blush. I feel the same way about her bronzer. I have that too. It just looks so beautiful on mature skin. It becomes one with your skin, and I think it's really worth it. Now we're going to put the Huda up against Laura Geller. This blush is all over Instagram, all over Facebook, social media. You see it all the time. Now this actually surprised me. This looks so large, but there's only 4.5 grams in this, so it's really the same size as the Huda, which it doesn't look like that in the packaging, but according to the weight on it, that's what it says. And if you divide it out for the $28, you're spending $6.22 per gram. That's actually more than what I spend on Charlotte's. So this is a more expensive blush. Now you're having to lay out more money initially for this, but per gram, this is pricier. Now one thing about this, it has more of a glittery look to it, which I'm not that fond of, but it is a nice blush. I'm not disappointed. I tried it, but I just don't find myself reaching for it very much. So if I put it against the Huda, definitely I pick Huda. This is my favorite of the three. One of the most popular drugstore blushes of all time is Milani's Luminoso. You get 3.5 grams of product in this for $8.97. So you're paying about $2.56 per gram as opposed to for Charlotte paying $5 a gram. Now, when I look at this, it is such a beautiful blush. I can see why I bought it multiple times. I've had a few since it came out. But now that there's so many other blushes available, I find myself not reaching for it quite as much. What I'm gonna put it up against is Physician's Formula. Now this formula, the one thing I have to say, I wish they would stop putting smells in their blushes. This one does smell like strawberry jam. Now, the main thing I don't like that for is because it could cause someone irritation or they just don't like the scent. But the good news is once you put it on your skin, it dissipates. This blush is $10.38 for 5.5 grams. So you're actually only spending $1.89 per gram. Now this always seems like it's more expensive than the Milani, but you are getting a lot more product. What impresses me about this is the feel of it. It is like butter. Some of the other blushes that I find at the drugstore are more chalky. This is not, it's got a little bit of a creaminess to it. When it goes on the skin, it looks very natural. So let's see which one's going to be the winner. The Milani or the physician's formula.
I go with the physician's formula. This blush has really impressed me. I didn't want to try it for a long time because of the scent. I'm not a big fan of scent in makeup, but this one is worth it. For the last battle, the physician's formula is going to go up against Moira. Now, I first found this brand on Amazon. I was super excited to try it because of the gorgeous pattern in the blush. Yes, sometimes I get hooked by either packaging or something different they've done with the powder. I love the ombre effect of this because I thought if I want to go lighter, I just use the top portion, deeper the bottom, or blend it all together. All of it gives a beautiful look. Now they give you nine grams of product. So this is the most out of anything I've shown in this video. When you divide that out, that's a dollar and 11 cents per gram. That is the least expensive of anything I've shown here. I love the way this looks on my skin. So beautiful. So let's see how it will do against the physician's formula. I have to go with the Moira for a dollar and 11 cents a gram. That's incredible. This blush never disappoints. It stays on my skin. It looks great on my mature skin. It never looks chalky. I'm sometimes afraid to buy other brands thinking it's going to look chalky, but this does not, and it's so worth it. Share with me your favorite blush, whether it's high-end or affordable or both. I would love to hear. If it's something I haven't tried, then I'd love to try it. If you like this format of video, make sure to give me a thumbs up so I'll know that. Remember, I upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Eastern. I love you, and I'll see you soon.